I did a video back in back in January, I believe it was, uh, discussing this uh, this post on the CDC's website. So I did one regarding to breastfeeding. Um, if you hit TWD in the comments right now, you'll get a uh, you'll be able to get the links to that entire video that I did discussing the importance and benefits of breastfeeding while a mother is sick or while baby is sick especially and how baby communicates, mom and baby communicate through skin to skin contact, specifically mouth to nipple contact. Um, let's not beat around the bush here. You know, baby latches on and there are basically lymph system that pulls from the nipple. All right, and so baby saliva, you know, um, bodily fluid there goes into mommy, and mommy's body responds if baby has the infection as well, or if baby has a different infection, mom's body will start producing antibodies to protect the baby. So it's so, so important for mothers to actually do direct skin contact breastfeeding. And I know, because I have treated many mothers and infants, in fact, I've treated their infants when they have difficulty latching. And most recently here had a baby with a significant problem in latching. And through chiropractic adjustments to the cervical spine of that baby, yes, very, very gently, I was able to help that baby latch onto mother's nipple better. It wasn't the best because for months that baby has been needing either a, um, I forget what those things are called, the, like a, a, a it's like a guard or something like that they use, and then she would have to express milk or pump milk and then feed it through a bottle. And it was so they she did that, thank God. I mean, that's a fantastic, wonderful, amazing mother right there doing everything she can. And that's all I ask is do everything you can to provide the best opportunity for your children. And you're an amazing mom. If for some reason your health doesn't allow you to do that or some other circumstances, I'm not chastising you. I, I just want you to do your best for our children. That's what I think every parent wants to do. And that's why I get this type of information out to people. And that's why when the CDC posted this right here, they had this on their website based on 2011 recommendations concerning influenza in the healthcare setting. Mothers in influenza should temporarily not breastfeed their newborns. However, they can provide express milk to the newborns via healthy caregiver. So basically saying that mothers should quarantine themselves away from their babies if mama has the flu. That is really, really bad advice because again, the science has shown and did show, and that's what I talked about in the video, TWD in the comments right now on this live feed right now on Facebook, and you get the link to that full uh, video if you want to share that with somebody to help them understand the importance of direct breast skin-to-skin -skin contact, mouth-to-nipple contact for baby to be able to communicate through their saliva to mommy for what mommy needs to produce as antibodies and immune cells to protect baby. It's very, very important. Very, very important. So this was their statement. What was ironic and why we didn't post this on, on YouTube, and we got to upload another segment. We're going to break it up into three segments for YouTube. But the reason we didn't post it right away was because the CDC actually within a couple weeks before we even had the blog post and the videos set up and ready to go, the CDC actually changed their stance. So after the Facebook Live video, the entire video of me showing why that was bad advice, while why showing that it's like, thank God at least they said go ahead and express milk, which would be extremely beneficial to baby, but would, which would be far more beneficial would have been saying you need to maintain contact, skin to skin, mouth to nipple contact, so baby can communicate to mommy through the, those mechanisms so that baby could be protected through mama's immune system. But here's their updated link, and they did that weeks after, within a few weeks after that live Facebook video back in January, they updated to saying this, breast milk provides protection against many respiratory diseases, including influenza. A mother with suspected or confirmed flu should take all possible precautions to avoid spreading the virus to her infant while continuing to provide breast milk to her infant. Nowhere in here that I could find, reading and scanning it really quickly, that they say exclude yourself, quarantine yourself, let a caregiver take care of your baby and express milk. No, they actually encourage now the continuation of direct breastfeeding with that infant. I am extremely thankful for the CDC. And yes, I am thanking the CDC here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I would like to sit back and say, you know what? This would be prideful. I'm not going to do it. But I would like to sit back and say, you know what? 
Maybe it was my live Facebook feed that made them update their information because they're like, oh, wow, the wild doc is calling us out. You know, a lowly, you know, like they say, the lowly chiropractor calling them out with their own research saying, hey, you're giving bad advice. Mothers need to have direct skin-to-skin -skin contact for that beneficial effect, for that physiological effect, that biological effect of baby's mucus, baby's saliva being literally pulled into the mother's breast and body so the mommy can say, mommy's body says, hey, baby's infected with X, Y, or Z, flu, Coxsackie, what it, it doesn't matter. But baby's body signals that way, and mama's body responds that way to produce antibodies, produce immune cells. Mom doesn't even have to be infected, just exposed through baby, and boom, starts producing antibodies to protect baby, to provide the immune system baby needs while they're extremely young. So just really cool. I actually am thanking the CDC for updating their information on their website shortly after that video, and I'm pleased, pleased, pleased with this aspect because they're giving good advice. So again, if everybody wants to say, uh, you know, now hopefully nobody can ever say that Dale is just, you know, this anti-CDC, anti-medicine, anti-medical. You know what? If they do the right thing, I will applaud them. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. So um, let's all applaud the CDC. You know, I'd rather, you know, because it's such a small thing, let's just do the golf clap. So <laughs> don't, don't, I mean, don't, don't like hoop and hurrah and yay and yippee, you know. But maybe we can play in their e ego that way. Maybe we should be like, maybe we should grovel at their feet right now and be like, thank you so much. You did the right thing. I can't believe it. That's amazing. Now, what about the CDC whistleblower, your scientist, William Thompson? Won't you, why don't you actually, you know, let, let him speak? and uh, show how autism is being caused by vaccines. Why don't you do that, please?